Zimbi has over 65,000 nodes that transmit data quickly across devices to connect them to a central protocol. For every low-powered smart home device, like security cameras, light switches, and door locks, it is a better mesh network than Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. And that is according to IEEE. Today's video will touch on the best big smart home standard. Zibi Review explained. Let us get started. Shall we? The Institute of Electricals and Electronics Engineers is responsible for the Zigbee technology. Zibi is an 802.15.4 personal area network standard that has existed for over a decade and is widely accepted as a Bluetooth and Wi-Fi alternative. This smart home standard works excellently with low-power devices that use less bandwidth to communicate. The Zibi has therefore become a household application for all smart home sensors. For instance, once Zibi is connected to a light switch and a light bulb, they can communicate on the same lines without being from the same manufacturers. In fact, one of its strengths as a smart home standard is its ability to communicate in a mesh network instead of point-to-point -point communication. This makes it beneficial, especially for people who might not want to connect too many hubs to their router. Once Zigbee's mesh network directly supports all the wireless protocols, they have a central controller and are truly smart. The technology has over 400 manufacturers of low-power devices signed onto it. The IEEE has also started exploits in the chip department to integrate the technology into more of its 2,500 devices. Shortly, we will share some of the biggest industry players in their alliance. To illustrate, a mesh network is a connection of networks spread across wireless nodes to communicate with each other over a shared network across a large area. In reality, the nodes are the main transmitters of the Zigbee network. They function as the transmitters in a wireless router do. These nodes, over 65,000 in a single network, can boost the data transmission range and offer maximum stability. Sometimes if a single node fails, the rest can carry the mission without affecting the work. This is because there is a master coordinator node that controls and oversees the responsibilities of all the other nodes. For example, if one node fails in the lineup, the Macer coordinator will move to directly command the second node by linking the third closest node to the network. Each node repeats the instructions and successfully cooperates to distribute data between the smart home appliances. That's better! Unlike Bluetooth, that can casually pick days when it does not want to connect to devices. This one will find the next node to do the job if one has a mood swing. This is how Zippy works. We will tell you Zybee's advantages and disadvantages after you subscribe to this channel. Moreover, the name is a communication strategy of bees. When bees are flocking into their hives, they have a dance that they execute to waggle themselves and pass essential information to other bees. Experts say the information could be about their new nest, impending danger, or fresh pollen. The zigzag waggles inspired the name Zigbee. Much like the hive, Zibi has over 400 member manufacturers signed to their alliance. These members have produced roughly 2,500 devices that work on the Zigbee technology. According to the alliance, the Zibi protocol will be responsible for Institute of Electricals and Electronics Engineers 800 and 2.15.4 units by next year. This projection came on their announcement of half a billion Zibi chipsets sold for more devices to benefit from the protocol. They also recently rebranded from Zibi Alliance to Connectivity Standards Alliance to reflect their chip projects. The Alliance partners include Comcast, Arm, Philips, ET&T, etc. These are the major stakeholders in the market, and they are all signed on to Zibi Home Automation. Does the Alliance provide enough devices for the average home automation? The answer is yes. However, sometimes a person prefers a specific brand which could be a challenge if that brand is not part of the alliance. Shortly, we will share a few cons of using Zibi. On the one hand, the Zibi protocol exercises low power consumption, and this attribute makes it a safer bet, especially for battery power devices. While using low power, it has a high latency to transfer high-speed data. In addition, its security is safe enough to wait off cyber threats through strong encryption and authentication algorithms. They also use similar installation lines to Wi-Fi and Z-Wave, 
so installing on one's own can be easier. I'd like to see it. <laughs> also, due to its alliance, you will find products that you need to sign up to this protocol. The protocol is reliable and cost-effective. On the other hand, Zimbi devices cannot connect to others outside of the Zimbi range. That limits access to all products on the market, forcing users to browse through a smaller number of manufacturers. Until most of the products are connected to Zimbi, this might be a disadvantage to the protocol. The connection, although encrypted, does not match up to Wi-Fi-based Sure systems. Ultimately, since one needs the system for smart home automation, it does not require too much private information. I don't think so. Therefore, this drawback can be easily unhurtful. If we are done talking about home automation devices, can we talk about other tech devices that have seen great advancement? For our previous video, we made a comparison of two of Samsung's best TVs for gaming. Check out OLED vs KeyLED, Samsung S95B OLED TV vs Samsung QN98 Gaming and Side-by-Side -side Comparison.